Hi, Hiking Jim here, and uh, welcome to another episode of Adventures in Stoking. Uh, what I've got here is uh, an MSR Simmer, excuse me, not Simmer Light. Uh, this is an MSR Win Pro 2. It looks exactly like a Simmer Light, but it is not the Simmer Light. Uh, this is the Win Pro 2. It's a little different than the Win Pro 1 in that I can rotate freely the canister at the coupler. So you've always been able to run uh, the Win Pro upside down with the canister upside down, like that, inverted which really improves your cold weather performance. Uh, take a look at my blog, and I'll go into all the details on my blog about why, man, that's cold, um, why that's uh, going to improve your uh, performance, but um, uh, it really does improve cold weather performance, uh, and I'll just give you the real top level view, which is basically you don't get as much canister cooling uh, from the evaporation of the gas, because uh, instead of evaporating inside the canister, it's going to be heated at the, the uh, flame when the fuel goes through this fuel line right here. Okay, So you don't have to evaporate it using the ambient air temperature and also uh, you don't get the separation of the propane because propane is a higher, this is a mix. Uh, they call it isopro and it's a mix of isobutane and propane and so you don't get that separation when you uh, run it upside down. So anyway, check out my blog. It's Adventures in Stoving at blogspot.com uh, they also on the uh, um, uh, have a nice stand, and this stand helps you keep the uh, gas inverted. So when I put it down, I've got access to the control, and the uh, gas is going to be fed in liquid form and go all the way to the burner in liquid form, and then it's going to be warmed at the burner. And you can, they, you know, you can start it up, up uh, upright with the canister upright, or you can start it with the canister upside down. I actually like to start it with a canister upside down just so I keep a consistent blend because the blend that they give you when you buy it at the store is good down to about zero Fahrenheit. If you burn off the propane, you lose that capability to operate in cold weather. So I, I'm not sure how cold it is. It's not super cold. It's the middle of the day right now. It's, it's cold enough, but uh, I'm up at about 10,000 feet and I'm going to fire this up. When you open up the uh, valve, it's going to flare. Well, if I can get it to go, there we go. Now see that? That is a flare. It's going to take a minute for the gas, the burner, to get hot enough to vaporize things. And when it vaporizes properly, it's going to run just like any gas stove. But it's got to get hot enough. It's going to help if I put the windscreen on it, because that will help keep the heat in. And there's my windscreen. Okay. Now, if you, you notice, you probably can't see the flame anymore. The reason being is that that burner is hot enough now that when the flame, excuse me, when the fuel goes through the fuel line, it's getting hot enough that it's going to go ahead and vaporize. Okay, now, what I've got here, I've got my pan, and if you can see, I've already got some water. That's your seed water. When you're going to melt snow, you always want to put a little seed water in there so that you can have something that will transmit the heat to the, to the snow. Especially, this is a titanium pot. You don't want to run a titanium pot with just snow in it because uh, eh, that's kind of messy. So what you want to do then is uh, start adding your snow slowly. And as you add your snow, you're just going to uh, go ahead and maybe stir it around a little bit just so that it doesn't um, uh, have any particular spot sticking to the, um, to the pot. And you don't get any uh, uneven heating or anything like that. Oops, I am really smoking my handles here. The flame is really hot right now. <laughs> Not good. All right, so I've got some snow in my pot. I'm going to turn that down just a hair. All righty. And let's stir that around a little bit. Make sure I get good, even coverage. Lots of heat. Okay, good, even coverage. Add a little more snow here. And if you look, you can see that that is rapidly melting. Because I've got this... For snow melting, you kind of want to have a pretty high flame. That's just the basics of snow melting. It takes a lot of BTUs.
And uh, the only thing you're going to get out of going with a lower flame is uh, a really long boil, if that's what you're up to. I'm actually going to make some uh, hot drinks here. And since it's snow and you do get, uh, here's a piece of bark or something, you do get crap in snow, eh, it's probably better to boil it. The chances of it carrying Girardia or something like that, especially I'm up at 10,000 feet, chances of it carrying Girardia are almost zero, if they aren't zero. And, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and boil it just for safety reasons. But anyway, that's basically how you melt snow. You get your uh, stove going, put a little feeder water in there, a little seed water, at, start adding your snow with the heat on. And I like to stir it with a titanium pot. Now it's mushy enough that it's not going to have any other uneven heat transfer. You're not going to get any burn spots. So just to, uh, for purposes of efficiency, I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on and uh, take it from there. All right, well, there you have it. That's um, the MSR WinPro 2 and how to, why and how to use it with liquid fuel or liquid feed and how to melt snow with it, okay? And I'm Hike and Jim, and thanks for joining me on another adventure in stoving.